Some of you might know this story, but in the late 1800s, actually the French gave us a gift called the, uh, the Statue of Liberty. Is this even working? But um, they actually were not nice enough to give us the base, so we actually had to pay for the base ourselves. And just to fast forward this, because I only have seven minutes, but Joseph Pulitzer at the time used a newspaper to reach out to the local people, and he was able to raise over $130,000. The cool thing is not that so many people gave money, sorry that they raised the money, but it was how many people gave money. See, the average contribution was 83 cents. Right, so that means hundreds, over 100,000 people gave money. They got nothing in return, not even a credit or anything of that sort. So that's crowdfunding back in the late 1800s. Fast forward to today, you now have Indiegogo and other funding platforms. We're distributing millions of dollars every month to virtually every country in the world where people can fund absolutely any idea. What does that have to do with education? We'll get there in just one second. So I'm gonna play a video for you just to show you an example of what we can talk about. So this is just, I have no slides. This is uh, Indiegogo, we're just going to, no, no, let's go back to the other one. This is Indiegogo, um, you can just click on browse, we're gonna go find, yeah, right there. We're gonna go to, there's all kinds of businesses, all kinds of causes, you know, you could do ballet, we're gonna have the first ever crowdfunded baby, it's gonna be on NBC soon, it's gonna be in vitro, people got in vitro fertilization to get, you know, a baby because they couldn't afford in vitro. There's community projects, there's the winner of Tribeca Film was funded on Indiegogo, the festival of last year. So if you just scroll down just a hair, um, You'll see here is like Angry Video Game Nerd, the movie, $152,000 and 75 days left. So this is real money that we're talking about. Scroll down just a hair. So we're gonna look at Luminade, and we were smart enough, so we'll click on Luminade, which is this really cool solar light. Two women, we're gonna move over to the other tab just because we were smart enough to, re to load this in advance. And we're gonna scroll to the top, play this video for you. They tried to raise $10,000. Just imagine these are two students, two young people. Let's just press play. This will take two and a half minutes. It will all make sense in a second. Do any of you want to buy this? Yes. All right, do any of you know them? No. All right, so they've funded 607 people, have already funded, they want to raise 10 grand. They know nothing better than to try to get it funded. See, the traditional way is they would write a business plan, they would learn how to do the business, they would go to some VCs and ask for money, they would tell them it's not a scalable business, no one's gonna buy this, why don't you figure out the business model? See, you don't need to do that anymore, you actually just f screw everybody, just is it gonna work or not gonna work? It's Darwinism, right? So what I would say is, you know, we teach reading, writing, and arithmetic, and we've been doing that for like whatever, 100, 200 years, and that's like the core principles. But what about like the core principles of like creativity, and I'm gonna use the word crowdfunding as a core principle just for the sake of this conversation, which is just a, a funny way of saying you should be actually doing entrepreneurship every day. And what I mean by that is there's no reason that entrepreneurship has become so simple in my idea that you should teach us starting in sixth grade. Not teach it like how to write a business plan. See, that to me is garbage. You should actually be starting businesses in sixth grade, right? And then you should start a business in seventh grade. And then you should start a business in eighth grade. Now, if that sounds crazy to you, we have people starting hundreds of businesses every day. Some of them are in sixth grade. It's actually illegal that they're doing it. They're using their mom's identity but they're literally doing it. And it's not because they're in the classroom, it's because they found Indiegogo and it's awesome, right? But how cool would it be if you had the actual nurturing of the students and the professors and the teachers all around you and there was a program. So for example, I made up my own curriculum here, which is you would break down your actual class, your year or your quarter or your semester into four sections. You do research and principles up front. You would then do planning and launch of your campaign. You then do your campaign in the third quarter. And in the fourth quarter, you do lessons and insights. So the lessons and insights that you did in this closed caption of one year, you just bring to the next year. And now you're just so much smarter for your second company, but your second company is when you're in seventh grade. Imagine when you're a sophomore in college, you have like eight companies below your belt. Why do I even have to teach you what scalability means? You've already figured it out five times, the limits of scalability at each time, right? So, um, you know, the way we teach writing is you want to write eventually, you know, Milton Friedman's like books or whatever. You started out by learning how to spell. And then you learned how to write sentences and grammar and paragraphs and short stories. No one asked you to like write Tolstoy on day one, which is pretty much what entrepreneurs need to do because they never got to spell because there's no room for that. 
right? So the lessons are pretty simple. You learn how to write. You learn how to use media, social media, which no one's teaching today for the youth. You learn how to commerce. You learn how to be creative. You learn how to communicate. You learn leadership. And all of this is through action and accountability, which we want to teach all of our children, right? And I have no children. I have three nephews. Um, so I'm pretty much done. But if we actually offer creativity and crowdfunding, which you know I can seem selfish here because we could partner with every single educational institution in the world, which many of them already want to work with us, but it's something that can be done for everybody. Mm -hmm.